Our final award uh, this evening recognizes individuals who support the totality of the IFAS mission, the IFAS Champion Award. It honors those who strengthen our ability to excel in teaching, research, and extension. This year's champion is a great embodiment of that threefold land grant mission. He gave extension 31 years of service as an agent and an administrator. As a farmer and an IFAS research collaborator, he developed new scientific knowledge that built an entire new industry in our state. Then he helped build a professional development center on our campus that today bears his name. This year's IFAS champion, Dr. Alto Strong. IFAS provides information and service and solutions to a lot of a problem in life for a broad spectrum of people in the state. The extension component has the youth component, the community development and the, the urban rural interaction. And that's the one thing that I've seen terrific growth in and they, not just extension, but IFAS interacting more with the, with the interaction between the rural and urban environments and drainage and pollution of water runoff and, and urban forestry and urban wildlife problems and all those interactions, it goes on and on. But I believe that the university and the IFAS both have done a good job of interacting and responding to those kind of issues. I, I see lots of things that's innovative in the direction of programs. Uh, the Plant Innovation Center there on campus is one of those things. Uh, and I supported that a little bit here and there. But, uh, well, I don't think of it as necessary support for IFAS. I think of it as a relationship of somebody helping me and me trying to help somebody to some degree in a small way uh, that's helping me. And it, it's very clear and to me that the in the blueberry industry, more so than some of the other things I'm in, that they have made the industry possible. Without them, they wouldn't have been an industry there. They've been terrific progress made in the varieties. But all growers are screaming for new varieties now. Demand for better quality, firmer, crisper, tastier, all of them demand better now. So what we have now is much, much superior from every direction of what we had 25, 30 years ago, but it's not good enough. There's a need for research because uh, new diseases, new insects, uh, uh, new climatic weather conditions, all those things change all the time. That's where the university comes in. They help find answers. It costs money to do research. Governments are looking to withdraw funding from any source they can, so it's hard to get people to contribute money for research or anything for that matter if they don't see the immediate results and how it applies to them. And I feel very good about contributing some back. Whether you're small or big or whatever, you're receiving benefits the, the ag industry is receiving benefits from the, from the research that's done by the university.